As tensions heat up worldwide and battlefields get more complex, the United States is racing ahead with new military tech. The F-45 Condor fighter jet isn't just another plane, it's a game-changer in stealth warfare. Set to take flight in 2025, this aircraft will completely rewrite the rules of air combat with its revolutionary design and ghost-like operations. What makes the Condor truly special? And in a world where China and Russia are developing their advanced fighters, will the Condor give America the edge it needs to maintain air superiority? Join us as we explore the features, capabilities, and strategic implications of the F-45 Condor. The mysterious F-45 Condor may be America's answer to Russian and Chinese advanced fighters. While not officially confirmed, Pentagon leaks suggest this aircraft represents a potential leap into sixth-generation warfare. Military insiders describe it as a ghost in the sky, built with cutting-edge stealth technology and equipped with directed energy weapons. The Condor's rumored features include plasma stealth technology that bends radar waves, making it virtually invisible to detection systems anywhere in the world. It may also use AI-driven combat assistance to predict enemy movements and suggest tactics in real time. Perhaps the most striking feature is the possibility of high-energy laser weapons that neutralize enemy aircraft and missiles mid-flight. Experts in military aviation continue to debate where the F-45 Condor fits in fighter aircraft evolution. Some argue it represents a fifth-generation plus aircraft, an exceptional refinement of existing fifth-generation technology rather than something new. Others argue that the Condor is a real sixth-generation breakthrough that fundamentally changes the nature of air combat. This difference between both generations of aircraft is important because sixth-generation fighters are defined by revolutionary capabilities, not just small improvements. Sixth-generation aircraft usually have three game-changing features. First, they can fly without a pilot, allowing the aircraft to operate independently when needed. Second, they achieve hypersonic performance with speeds exceeding Mach 5, which is approximately 3,800 miles per hour. This speed places them beyond the reach of current air defense systems. Third, they employ stealth technologies that represent a significant advance over what exists in fifth-generation fighters, potentially including active camouflage or plasma-based systems that can adapt to different threat environments. The F-45 Condor uses cutting-edge materials that make it nearly invisible to radar. It also comes with cyber tools that can jam enemy communications during missions. This fighter's optional pilot setup makes it special, allowing it to fly by itself and possibly outperform aircraft with human pilots, sealing its place as a sixth-generation aircraft. Unlike earlier stealth aircraft that relied primarily on angular shapes to deflect radar waves, the Condor uses specialized composite materials and coatings that actively absorb radar energy. These materials contain precisely engineered layers that trap incoming radar waves and convert them to heat, making the aircraft appear no larger than a small bird on the enemy radar screens, even when viewed from angles that would compromise traditional stealth designs. Inside the Condor, artificial intelligence helps pilots make decisions while pulling in real-time battle data. Its engines can maintain super-fast speeds without afterburners, giving it better range and speed than competitors. The plane can carry different weapon loads, long-range missiles, smart bombs, and possibly even hypersonic weapons, making it flexible for any mission. This has raised tough questions about using AI in combat. Military and civilian leaders continue to debate how much countries should let machines make decisions in warfare. As countries push for more power worldwide, having the best air force has proven to be more critical. Therefore, the Condor is not just a fancy new plane, it shows how crucial it is to stay ahead in a rapidly changing world. No matter how impressive it sounds, developing new tech like plasma stealth and AI systems costs a lot of money. Engineers face real challenges in making laser weapons work reliably in combat conditions. Since there have not been any public demonstrations, much of what experts know about the Condor is based on leaks. The laser weapons on the Condor were hard to design. While they work fine in a lab, making them work on a fast plane is tough. The plane's vibrations can mess up the laser's aim, it needs a lot of power, and weather can weaken the laser. Also, the laser gets really hot and could damage the plane. Each of these problems requires a creative solution, which often leads to more problems, taking longer and costing more to develop. The artificial intelligence systems intended for the aircraft represented another layer of complexity. Programming an AI to make split-second decisions in combat while ensuring it does not make catastrophic mistakes requires extensive testing under countless different scenarios. Unlike commercial AI that can afford occasional errors, military systems must be nearly perfect before deployment. This level of reliability demands years of programming, testing, and refinement, 
work that happens behind closed doors at enormous expense. This new fighter jet was created by a team of major defense companies, including Lockheed Martin, Boeing, and Northrop Grumman. They started building test versions back in 2018 as part of the Air Force's plan to develop a cutting-edge stealth fighter. This single-seat, twin-engine aircraft can fly in any weather and pack some serious technology. While the Condor was mainly designed to win air battles, it can do much more. It can attack targets on land or sea, jam enemy electronics, and make split-second decisions independently. The F-45's path to becoming a reality wasn't easy. After its first flight in 2023, the plane underwent several name changes before the Air Force officially called it the F-45A when it entered service. The project faced many challenges, including going over budget and dealing with technical problems. Still, despite these issues, the Air Force saw the Condor as an important part of America's air power for the future. What makes the Condor special isn't just one feature but how everything works together. Its stealth design makes it hard to spot on radar. Its shape lets it perform flying maneuvers other planes can't match. And its built-in AI systems help the pilot process information and make decisions faster than ever before. This next-generation fighter jet has a staggering price tag of $715 million per unit. Production is scheduled to run from 2026 through 2036, with 35 aircraft planned for completion. This limited production run includes 8 test aircraft and 27 operational jets for frontline service. The Condor family includes two main variants, the experimental YF-45 kill switch and the operational F-45B Condor. The F-45A version is designed for a single pilot, while the F-45B accommodates two crew members, likely to manage its complex systems and expanded mission capabilities. The aircraft weighs 46,920 pounds, stretches 70 feet in length, and features a wingspan of 44 feet when it comes to armament, the Condor carries an impressive arsenal. Every configuration includes one GU-45E 25mm cannon for close engagements and two short-range missiles, either the AIM-9Z Sidewinder or British-made M132 SRAM. It can carry six advanced AIM-260 Joint Advanced Tactical Missiles for air superiority missions. When configured for ground attack, it trades half of these for three AGM-158 JASSM cruise missiles. It replaces the JASSMs with three long-range anti-ship missiles for naval strikes. Perhaps most impressive is the Condor's performance envelope. The fighter can reach speeds exceeding Mach 2.9, more than 2,200 miles per hour. This hypersonic capability makes it among the fastest operational aircraft ever built and gives it a significant advantage in intercepting enemy aircraft and escaping dangerous situations. The Condor features distinctive diamond-shaped wings inspired by the experimental F-23A design, complemented by leading edge root extensions that flow seamlessly to the upper outboard corners of its canted air inlets. One of its most innovative features is the ability to physically transform between two configurations, stealth mode, where the tail wings fold inward to minimize radar cross-section, and combat mode, where these surfaces extend outward while the forward wing sections angle downward to deliberately sacrifice some stability in exchange for extraordinary maneuverability. The fighter's impressive cruise performance elevates the effectiveness of its sensors and weapons while simultaneously enhancing survivability against ground-based threats like surface-to-air missiles. Unlike many fighters that depend heavily on afterburners for high speeds, the Condor can supercruise, maintaining supersonic flight without afterburners, allowing it to intercept targets beyond conventional aircraft's fuel range. The internal weapons bays eliminate the drag from external stores, significantly improving its performance advantage over traditional fighters. The F-45 is built for high performance with powerful engines. The engineers created a special airframe using advanced materials to handle the stress and heat from flying at such extreme speeds. 42% of the plane structure is made from titanium alloys, while 24% is made from strong bismolimide and epoxy composites. The Condor aircraft's extraordinary ability to fly at a 75 degrees angle of attack is like a car that can drive sideways while still turning smoothly. Conventional planes stall and lose control when their nose points too high relative to their direction of travel, similar to how a car might spin out on ice. However, the Condor uses an intelligent flight control system paired with computerized engine management to maintain stability even when flying in positions that would cause normal aircraft to tumble out of control. This gives pilots what engineers call carefree handling, meaning they can push the aircraft to extreme positions without worrying about losing control. This technology creates significant advantages in aerial combat like allowing a boxer to punch effectively while leaning backward. The Condor can rapidly change direction, point its weapons at targets while moving differently, and perform maneuvers that would be impossible for conventional fighters. 
Rather than constantly monitoring dozens of flight parameters to avoid dangerous conditions, pilots can focus entirely on their mission objectives, trusting the aircraft's computers to prevent dangerous situations even during the most extreme maneuvers. The Condor's weaponry is housed in three internal bays, a large central bay on the underside of the fuselage and two smaller bays on either side behind the engine intakes. Additional small compartments behind each side bay contain defensive countermeasures like flares. The primary air-to-air -air armament comprises M260 Joint Advanced Tactical Missiles and AIM-132 ASRAMs for shorter-range engagements. For close-in fighting, a 25mm GU-45E Terminator rotary cannon is embedded in the left wing route, with its muzzle covered by a retractable door to maintain stealth characteristics until needed. When the cannon is active, the pilot's head-up display shows the projected path of fire, enhancing accuracy. While designed primarily as an air superiority fighter, the Condor demonstrates remarkable versatility through its weapons options. The main bay can accommodate AGM-158 JASSM cruise missiles for ground strikes or AGM-158C RASM long-range anti-ship missiles when naval targets are the priority. The aircraft's advanced displays provide real-time telemetry of launch missiles, even giving pilots the extraordinary capability to manually detonate them if mission requirements change after launch. A notable variant of the Condor is the YF-45, also called the Kill Switch. It served as the crucial pre-production technology demonstrator for the stealth fighter program. Eight experimental aircraft were built, each testing different configurations of stealth, flight controls, propulsion, and weapon systems. These flying laboratories, equipped with extensive sensors, gathered critical data while test pilots pushed them to their limits. The kill switch name reflects its advanced stealth and electronic warfare capabilities that could disable enemy defenses. Another variant, the F-45B, features a second seat for an electronic warfare officer, enhancing effectiveness in complex combat by splitting tasks between pilot and systems operator. China's primary rival to the F-45 is the Chengdu J-20 Mighty Dragon, a fifth-generation stealth fighter introduced in 2017. Larger than the F-22, the J-20 emphasizes range, stealth, and internal weapons bays. Recent upgrades include WS-10C engines with potential supercruise capabilities and PL-15 long-range missiles. However, it competes against a 6th-gen aircraft, the F-45 Condor, which incorporates AI-assisted combat, autonomous operations, directed energy weapons, and advanced stealth. China is reportedly developing its own 6th-gen fighter, possibly the JXX or J-30, with autonomous mission capabilities. Russia's answer to the Condor is the Su-57 Felon, a 5th-gen stealth jet emphasizing maneuverability. It features 3D thrust vectoring, internal and external weapon bays, and advanced radar systems. Yet, with limited production and lacking true 6th gen tech like AI and energy weapons, it falls short of the Condor's capabilities. Russia's future Pak DP, MiG-41, 6th gen fighter is in development but may progress slowly due to economic and technical hurdles. Meanwhile, Europe's future combat air system, a France-German-Spain collaboration, aims to rival the F-45. Overall, the Condor points to the future of aerial warfare, highlighting trends like pilotless jets, high-speed capabilities, and integration with drones and satellites.